Hello everyone, the first Chewbasa here, also known as Chewbasa and Tommy from the Kirby Let's Play. Um, we are going to be playing some rare games to celebrate the success of Ukulele on Kickstarter. Uh, me and Steve were super happy to see that thing succeed. We're both rare fans. Steve loves Banjo Kazooie, loves it so much that he can actually beat the game in about like two hours and thirty minutes, I think. Uh, it's ridiculous. He's so good. So. Uh, in this video, he's going to be playing Banjo, but in the future, we're also going to be doing a video where I play through Conker's Live and Reloaded. Um, I wanted to do Conker's Bat Fur Day, but I don't have that version, so we're just going to be doing the remake. Anyways, uh, here's the video, and enjoy. Um, I, I guess there's a little bit of bias to why I like Banjo Tui more, because I actually own that one. I, I, the only time I ever played Banjo Kazooie is when I one over my friends. Hmm. Yeah. Well, you. Gotcha. What do you know about Banjo, Andrew? Never played either. You never played either. Out, out of all the times when you just walk by Steve, just like immensely staring at his computer, being like, "I can be the best at this. I'm going to do it. I can win. Yes, yes, I can win." You, you never. Is that exact thought, Steve? <laughs> no. <laughs> you, you, you never asked if you wanted to try it out. No, I don't want to. Uh, all right. Well, what do you think of Banjo Kazooie just in concept? That's a platform. I love platforms. And you never decided to play it? I didn't have the console. I guess console. you don't have platformers, so... I mean, I don't have the console. You could do the And now it's probably too old for me to be like, get into it. It still plays well, right? Oh, it plays very well. As far as games for that generation, like, this is one of the least glitchiest ones out there. Yeah. Mm. In fact, you True. have to actually try to get it to glitch. Like, it won't... Like, I've never had a problem just playing it casually. Do you want to know what that was? What? Well, part of it was because, like, to get the... the the seal of Nintendo license, you you would have to do like so much shit. Like you would have to send like a copy of your game to Japan, then they'd give it back in a week after like play testing it, <laughs> like a whole week of just play testing one game. What the heck happened with DK sixty four? I don't. I think they just started to care less. I, I don't think that. I, I don't know any glitches in DK sixty four. I think they're just trying to make sure it was stable <coughs> enough. And the game was stable. Like you would have to like go out of your way to, to glitch. Mm. Not in Unity. I don't know. I watched like half an hour of a speed run of DK64, and the dude was like walking in the ground, and that was like a glitch they used all the time. That, but but that's still something I had to activate. Yeah, but it yeah. seemed pretty easy to activate. I don't remember how they did it then. Yeah. Man, I love this game. Thing. Hardly has any glitches. It has some like uh, mechanics abuse. Like how the game works in general and abusing that. It's no Ocarina of Time. No, no, that's Glitch Fest. <laughs> yeah, so um, for those who don't know, Steve actually is trying to. Well, not, I, I should already say, he has sped run Banjo Kazooie before. What's your time? Two hours and 47 minutes ish. What's the record? Uh. It keeps getting broken recently by one dude. He's like miles ahead of everyone else. It's like around two hours and eight minutes. Damn. Uh. <coughs> you see, I don't know if I could do that. Like, just play a game for two hours straight with 100% concentration. It seems like it'd be I couldn't hard. Do it. it becomes muscle memory when you play it that much. Uh, mm -hmm. I couldn't do that for fun. I just couldn't. I wonder if there's a person who could do a speed run without actually looking at the screen. Uh, where, like, he just memorized what he needs to do to such a degree that he can just execute the commands, like, on the joystick. There's that guy who beat Mario... Mario stage run without looking. Well, that game exactly has, like, okay. that one glitch where you can, like, back up through the door and, like, <laughs> you just teleport right through it. You mean Ocarina of Time? No, no, no Mario 64. Oh, the, the the staircase or? Yeah, I forget. I don't know. I forget one was like you like you like back up right yeah. into the door. And you just glitch straight past. You do it. like the long jump, but then you do it backwards up into the staircase, and it like he gets stuck, and uh -huh. then it just launches him up the stairs. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. You go faster than it can like to, to create yeah, the endless loop. You go faster yeah. than it, which is hilarious. Hmm. And this game, uh, unlike most Nintendo games, like Mario 64, this one actually had a pretty deep story, <laughs> if you could pair them. 
<laughs> like Mario 64 is just like, Mario, come to the castle. I baked a cake for you. And then, <laughs> then there's no cake, and you're just like, what the hell is this portal? You it's get a kiss on the nose. There's a cake in Portal. You have to, like, break the game. I, I never said there though. wasn't a cake in Portal. Like, it was just hidden. Very, very well hidden. Yeah. I thought that no. you needed to glitch to actually see the cake in Portal. Yeah, you do. You have to, like, go through the stage. Oh, you gotta do all the training. Press B. Press B! Press B! Did you press B? You bet we're good enough, bottle brain. Uh, eh, everyone knows Jab Jammers is the real badass. I do like him more than Bottles. Yeah. Bottles is dead in the second one. Uh, the, 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 Steve, do you remember that? Wow, jeez. Speedrunner extraordinaire over here, everyone. Yeah, I'm a pro. <laughs> uh, Alright, Steve's not going to be doing, like... I'm not going to be doing well at all. <laughs> yeah, he, he's not going to be able to do, do as well as he normally does, because we're going to be here commentating, yelling at him to do better, so he's obviously... Steve, you suck! Yeah, he's not going to be doing better. I love these... Why does everything have eyes? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> That just makes that just makes it look like you just killed a living boulder who's just trying to mind his own business, and you just go and kill him. Uh, Wait, do you get an extra light or you don't like know an anything extra about honeycomb this game. when you get all? Wait, that? Have you ever played this game? Chris? This, this like I said, I've played it only a little bit, and it has been well, years. You should know this because these were in Banjo Tooie. Yeah, the honeycombs, but you yeah, collect them and yeah. you. Um, you know, you bring them into that bee girl. Yeah. There is no bee girl in this. As soon as you get it, it just gives you an extra unit of life. <laughs> right, Steve, do, do, do you remember hearing about, like, how, at, spoilers, for the end of this game, like, Banjo is on, like, um, on, like, some deserted island, and there's, like, this beach girl there. And oh, she, Melon Girl, she, yeah. She used to have huge boobs, but then... <laughs> They and covered like, it with watermelons. Yeah, N Nintendo was just like, you can't make that those boobs that big. So they're just like, let's just put like huge melons on the plate that she's carrying instead. <laughs> uh, that was really weird that they established that there was like some sexy human girl. In a world with a talking bear. That... Ah, I did it! Right. Oh no, I didn't. Wait, oh, did skip There's there. a circle of activation radius around him. And if oh. you, since it's a, like a hexagon, if you can just stand on the corners and jump all the way over him to the bridge, you can skip it. I guess you didn't do it. Well, it looks like I did it, but maybe mm -hmm. not. Maybe, well, this is a different version now. Yeah, but, like, when I stood on, stood on that corner, you could see it still had the same principles. Mm -hmm. I don't think I jumped far enough. Here's that character that didn't show up in Tui. Why wasn't Tootie in Tui? I don't um, know. Hey, you know, recently for, um, they, they actually did... Uh, uh, like when you go to um, what's that? The like the final world in uh, in Banjo Tooie called? Like it's up in the sky. Oh, Cloud Cuckoo Land. Yeah, Cloud Cuckoo Land. Ah, yeah. Th there's actually like a a trash can you can go into, and mm -hmm. there's a, a carton of milk in there, and Tootie's picture is on the side of it, and it says missing above her. <laughs> they, they they added that for the 360 version, I think. Huh. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Jump into the painting! Jump into the painting! Steve, will you at least try? Oh, yeah, I'll try. Really? Sure! He's gonna do it, guys! He's gonna jump into it after Banjo does a little jig. No. Oh. Yeah. yeah! Look at it, we're no, playing you, you, Mario! You, you have to high jump. Hmm. Well, you're just not doing it right. Alright, just go with the seat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love all this music. Uh, oh, man. Steve. Yeah? Why did you decide to speedrun this? Because I love this game. And you just thought you had to be the best at it? No. Do you I started by watching... Best? I watched other people speedrun it. And I was like... It looks fun. Looks fun. Looks fun. I don't. I, I don't I, try. I don't think me and you have a different semblance of fun. It's like, how about two hours of pure hundred percent concentration until you gain muscle memory? Steve, do you want to be the best that no one ever was? No, I don't. Are you sure? Uh, pretty sure. 
Pokemon Master. I'm Get the Jinjo! I love the Jinjos. I remember me, you, and back in elementary school, we would, uh, we, we would, uh, we would talk about the ending, the ending of Banjo-Kazooie, and, and you were just like, I want to be the blue Jinjo that takes down Gruntilda. I'm like, can I be the orange one? And he's like, the orange one isn't the most powerful, but yeah, you could be him. I don't remember any of this. <laughs> I don't remember any of this. No, I don't that, remember this. this. That sounds like something you would say in middle school. Yeah, because, like, you, <laughs> you, 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 you... Like, it isn't the, the last Jinjo you, you free from the statue. Yeah, it's the blue one. It's the Jinjinator, right? Or yeah. whatever his name is. Yeah. And I remember, like, that was specifically why you wanted to pretend to be that one, because he was the most powerful. And now I look back and I'm like... He was kind of a jerk back then, wasn't he? <laughs> uh, oh yeah, damn it. That's right. Normally you'd go in there and you'd be able to skip all the way up. Uh, but you can't. You can't. Uh, we have to get five Mumbo tokens and turn into a termite. Oh god, you don't know what to do. You just completely derailed derail his thought process. You should see him like steam's coming out of his head. I don't think he can... Focus. What do I do now? My whole life is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> And this is where you learn the best move in the game. Wait, how do you activate it? I think you just hold L and R, right? L and... Oh, okay. Was it right? Yeah. Alright. I guess... You've played it on here before. Uh, well, it, well, honestly, it's kind of amazing, I remember. I bought the game, of course I played it. I beat both Banjo, Kazooie, and uh, Tui. Not in two hours, like you, because you're insane, but uh... <laughs> Three. I beat it in a three. reasonable, like, uh... It'd be more accurate to say three. Because <laughs> two is more, more record, right? Yeah, two is much closer to the world record. Uh, when you're ready to leave this world, press start. Oh, he's like, oh, you got one jiggy, you're ready to tap out, right? What the heck? Oh, for, for a second, I thought I had the demo version where it only clicks you, like, a limited amount <laughs> of stuff. <time. laughs> I was worried. Uh... How many music notes do you need? A hundred. Does that get you another jiggy? No, no. but it's for completion. Okay. And also you use it to open note doors. Wait, oh. so are you hundred percenting this? Oh yeah, that's what I learned. I learned how to hundred percent. Yeah. Well, it's only going to take him around like three hours, so we might as well let him do it. <laughs> oh wait, so what's the uh, non-hundred percent record? One thirty-five? Oh. No one cares about that one, though. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I love this guy. Oops. Who's your favorite Banjo character, Steve? I'm messing this up so bad. Who's your favorite Banjo character, Steve? Oh. I don't know, Chimpy. <laughs> Are you just saying that because you're a problem? <laughs> I'll tell you who my least favorite character is, and it's Vile. Vile? The red crocodile. Oh, oh, you're just mad because he eats you. Oh, I'm mad because that's my least favorite part of the speedrun. <laughs> you got to play the Vile game? Yeah. Oh, I remember last time you came over and we played this together, You, I, I did the Vile thing, and I'm like, this isn't hard, then he, like, bit me when I lost. <laughs> the thing is, the thing that makes it annoying is, like, like, you do it once and you're like, alright, I'm done. Then he's like, well, no, it's I, two more times. You gotta, well, that's not fucking fair, let's do it again, bitch. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he says that too. Yeah. I wouldn't know, I just skipped the text. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't even care about the story, the amazing lore of Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> you know there was a writer for this game. <laughs> Whoa, Banjo, there's nothing more I can teach you. Oh, really? You already got all the moves in this one? Yeah. What moves do you learn? Oh, wait, wait. I, I think in the next world, you learn- Wait, there's an orange pad down there. Baby. I know. He knows. It's... Woo! Nice. Well, there's a much faster way to do that, but I'm bad at it. You see, this is why I don't understand. Even though, like, you beat him, he just stays up there. Doesn't he throw more oranges at you? Whoops, I missed. <gasps> Speedrunner extraordinary Omega Shimron I you're, love 360 I'm, I'm no I'm sorry, score. but you're not Omega Shimron. Yeah. I'm sorry. I've been deceiving you guys. Omega I am in Shimron. fact not Omega Shimron. Well damn it. Whoops. Nice. You know that's pure gold, you're probably selling that for a lot. What the heck? 
See, you beat him, but he's just like... I guess he's just a sore loser and he's just still trying to kill you. Yeah. Um, did you know there's actually a bull scene in Conker's Bad Fur Day? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, the, the, the bull plays a much larger role than the bull in this game. Hey, that bull comes back later. It, it, he's like in the hub world. Yeah, he's in the lobby in front of Click Lock Woods. Yeah, he's just being a jerk. God, you to... are... You know what Let's sucks? See if this works. Does this work? Whoops. Not if you mess it up. Yeah, not if I'm bad. Not if you're not Omega Shimron. Not 11. Play 60 no so Get good, scrub. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that still works. Yeah. Uh, I think like, you came over and like showed me how good you were at Banjo, and you're like, Whoa, wow, a lot of this stuff still works. Uh, Except when I'm bad. Yeah. Do the backwards jump thingy. Or, or, oh, wow, you like threw a punch, and then you... Yeah, it stalls, <laughs> and you can jump out of those. That's awesome. Man, I love Banjo. Me too. At least we still have nuts and bolts. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> you know what sucks? Didn't they, they... 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 they Like, there's box art out for Banjo 3 on the GameCube, right? Or was that fan-made? I don't remember. Um, probably fan-made. Oh, I can't remember. What? It was announced that they were going to make it, I thought. Um... Yeah. Yeah, it was. Do, do you know what, Chris? What? Do you know what uh what weird game we could play? What? Star Fox Adventures. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> that game is so bad. Hmm. Oh, I guess I, I, never, I guess I guess I should say this in the video. We're, we're we're letting Steve play through this to celebrate the success of Ukulele and how well that game's doing on Kickstarter. Hmm. Uh, Alright, so I missed two mumbo tokens and I can't remember where everything wait, is. Wait, what is that banjo statue? Uh, did you get the one under it's the... It's a one-up. Oh, okay. What, why are you in here? Oh, yeah, the mumbo token. You're bad. Yes. Hey, Arlie! I love those. I love how, how much jerks these guys are. I remember the, the like, when you come in here as a... Well, you're a tick. Uh, what are you? A termite. A termite? Yeah. Oh, I thought that's you were a, an ant. That's a big termite. <laughs> There's one! Yeah. I helped, right? You wouldn't have found that without me, right? Fair? <laughs> no, I was headed there anyway. <laughs> I mean, yes, Tommy, I couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Burn it, burn it, boom. Man. How many, how many, uh... God, what are the well, how many jiggies are there in this world? There's, there's ten in every world. Ten in every world, got it. Me and Mumbo, but Shaman all game. Only Shaman all game. Oh, really? No. Oh. No, I mean, that's not what he says. I, oh, I, I thought I misread it. <sighs> oh, I say, he says press X, but you're not allowed to be in Talon Drop. I should make a Lego of Mumbo, since he's already a Lego in this game. Ah. You, you know what? Mumbo was always one of my favorite characters. I was so happy when we got to play as him in Tui. Really? E even though, like, he Oops. didn't- he couldn't do any- like, his only attack was, like, pretty much, like, he turned his wand to do a taser. <laughs> Come on, it's the best. Wait, get uh, the- the one up. That's cool. Okay, Chris. No, I'm, I'm, I meant, like, like, on the way back, but whatever. Okay, Chris, well, do it your way. Look at him, though. He's flexing as he talks. I do like how all the items you collect once talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> as you question, like, this egg just talked to me. Should I really throw it and kill it at this enemy? Hey, where'd you get those shorts? I Jerk! <laughs> how am I supposed to speedrun with your big bungalow? <laughs> God, look at it. This, this guy's, like, your power as this animal is that you can walk or walls, kind of. Isn't that lame? I think in Banjo-Tooie, like, you get to become a T-Rex, beats this. 
What are you talking about? Termite's the most powerful no, transformation. Not. The only thing you get to be that actually like can attack is the alligator, right? The, the crocodile, or whatever it was. Well, I guess you don't take fall damage as this guy, right? Yeah, that's true. Did I get all the nuts? Yeah. Uh, got all the jingos? Yeah, they give you a jiggy. Did you uh, visit the mailbox? Oh my gosh, I forgot to check my mail! <laughs> First world down. Time, Andrew! Time. No, I, I meant that you were supposed to be timing it. My phone's dead. It's been dead for ages. You know, never mind.